The Electric Railway Museum, formerly the Coventry Railway Centre, was located in Warwickshire, southeast of Coventry, near the village of Baggington. The Heritage Railway Centre was immediately adjacent to Coventry Airport, and so it was also known as the Airfield Line. The site was managed by the Electric Railway Museum Limited, and is home to a sizable collection of preserved electric multiple units emus, which is the most diverse and historically significant collection of emus in the UK, containing unique items that are the last survivors of once typical and numerous classes. In addition, there are three small industrial electric locomotives, two small industrial diesel locomotives, and one small industrial petrol locomotive, along with some other railway vehicles, which are owned by third parties. The land is leased from Coventry City Council, though it is located just outside the city boundary and is in the county of Warwickshire. On 9 July 2017, it was announced that, owing to the site being sold for development, the museum would close on 8 October 2017, the last open day of the year. History Coventry Steam Railway Centre The site was originally established as the Coventry Steam Railway Centre in 1986 by a group who set out to preserve Hudswell Clark 0 6 0 tank locomotive number 1857. The group established the site and located the locomotive and other collected items of motive power, rolling stock and infrastructure, including Little Bowden Junction Midland Railway signal box there. The land was previously used as part of the municipal water treatment works and there had never been any railway infrastructure there until the creation of the centre. Topic. Suburban Electric Railway Association With a small membership, progress was slow and by the mid-1990s had slowed nearly to a halt. The late 90s saw one of the original founders retire due to ill health and he sold his interest in the site to a consortium of Suburban Electric Railway Association members, except the tank engine which was sold to another railway. By 2004, the other founders had left and Sarah took over sole running of the site. Topic. Electric Railway Museum In 2009, the responsibility of managing the site passed to Electric Railway Museum Limited, a charitable company which had been established in 2008 to create a permanent home for preserving and representing Britain's electric railway heritage. With this development, the original Coventry Railway Centre Limited Company was wound up and its assets passed to Electric Railway Museum Limited. The site is open to the public, and group and individual visits can be admitted by prior booking. <laughs> Track layout The track layout comprises two three road fans of sidings. Those at the end of the site adjacent to the Midlands Air Museum are complete with a headshunt that runs through a 40-metre cutting that was excavated by the members of the original Steam Centre in the early 90s. The sidings nearest Rowley Road are unconnected. The sidings are protected by an inner fence to create a secure compound. Topic. Facilities 
Other improvements made to the site by Electric Railway Museum in late 2009 include the provision of mains electricity on site and state of the art CCTV equipment. Topic: <laughs> Stock The vast majority of items not being actively restored are sheeted over to protect them from rusting, vandalism, and other damage. Topic electric multiple units overhead EMUSBR class 307 vehicle 75023 DT bridge blue. Built in 1955. BR Class 308 Vehicle 75881 DTCOL BR Class 309 Units 960101 and 960102 Bridge Class 312 Vehicles 78037 DTCOL and 71205 TSO BR Class 300 170 vehicle 49006 NDM third rail southern region BR class 405 four sub unit 4732 vehicle NOS 12795 12354 10239 12796 BR class 414 two HAP unit 4311 vehicle NOS 61287-75407 BR Class 416 2 EPB units 932053 and 6307 BR Class 457 units 7001 vehicle 67300 Third Rail Midland Region, BR Class 501 2 car unit formed DMBS Vehicle 61183 plus DTBS Vehicle 75186 BR Class 503 Unit 28690 plus 29720 plus 29289 Other Liverpool Overhead Railway Rebuilt First Class Trailer Car No. 7 Topic locomotives Diesel locomotives Rouston and Hornsby O 4 O Diesel Electric 165 DEB 1950 weeks Number 268881 Mazda Operational Ruston and Hornsby 4WD Diesel Mechanical 88DSB 1953 weeks Number 338416 Crabtree undergoing restoration electric locomotive Espondon power station number 1 equals 4 WD battery overhead electric loco B 1935 English electric weeks no E905 operational Kearsley power station number 1 equals Bobo overhead 550 VDC electric loco B 1928 Hawthorne Leslie Weeks no 3682 awaiting restoration Haysham power station no 1 equals Bobo battery electric loco B 1945 Robert Stevenson and Hawthorne's Weeks No. 7284. Doug Totman. Operational. Equals. Topic Carriages Equals Number 135 City and South London Railway Wood Body Carriage Number 163 City and South London Railway Steel Body Carriage No. 60,750, RDB 975,386 Experimental Tilting Coach, Hastings. Topic Gallery.
Topic: Closure. On 9 July 2017, it was announced that, owing to the site being sold for development, the museum would close on 8 October 2017 the last open day of the year. The future of the museum and its collection of unique electric multiple units and other items is uncertain at this time, with efforts to raise £10,000 underway to cover the costs of moving the stock to an as yet unknown location. Ruston and Hornsby 88 diesel shunter, nicknamed Crabtree, and BR Class 309 Unit 960101 were moved to the Tanat Valley Light Railway in May 2018 with the EMU to serve as a static museum and buffet train at Nant Mauer. <laughs> 